Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you the Tully Holovator Pro versus the Yakima Showdown. This here we have the Tully Holovator Pro. It has a load capacity of 75 pounds. It weighs 39.7 pounds. All right, to bring it down, there's a lever here that you want to press, unlock it, and then pull toward you and down. Same with the other one, unlock, pull toward you, and down. So it lowers by 40 inches from the roof rack height. So you do need about four to six inches of clearance so that it extends out and you have enough clearance so it does not hit your vehicle. The saddles are made of rubber, that way it does not scratch your kayak. It also comes with foam pads to protect your kayak. The bottom saddle is set in a fixed position. You can still adjust it if you'd like. Whereas the top saddle is adjustable. Go ahead and turn this knob. You can adjust it up or down depending on the size of your kayak. It does adjust up to 36 inches wide. So I am gonna load this 85 pound kayak. It is rated for 75. I am going 10 pounds over and I'll show you how it does. So first thing you wanna do is locate the center weight of your kayak, which I know mine is where the handles are. You wanna make sure it's centered in between. That way each strut has a even amount of weight to help you assist in the kayak. So 85 pounds is pretty heavy. Let me see if I can do it. think that's pretty level this is my midpoint so Thule does provide load straps with a uh, protective rubber so that way you don't scratch your kayak first you want to hook it on the back of the kayak so to strap the kayak you want to go through here and out and you're going to strap it through here all right so that's how I strap the kayak bring it over the top and then through here then we're gonna go ahead and uh, tighten the strap all right you want to get one end go ahead and feed it through the cam buckle you're gonna depress this feed it through that way it locks go ahead and pull to tighten once you got it tight this here is just to protect just in case it's touching your kayak you're gonna repeat the steps through the second strut. A cool feature is in a different scenario, if you do have excess straps, there's a pocket here where you can tuck in the excess strap. That way it doesn't flap around when you're driving. Secured by Velcro, just like that. Now that you have it all strapped nice and tight, all you have to do Get the lever, and lock it into place. That's an 85 pound, it helped me assist. 85 pound kayak. Now all you have to do is tilt it forward. And lock it into place. Nice and stable. So your next step is the bow and stern tie down. You wanna do the bow to reduce the wind force from lifting the kayak. You wanna put a down force by tying it down and so as the rear, the stern, that way when you press on your brake, the kayak doesn't 
move forward with uh, kinetic energy. First, we're gonna do the bow tie down. Now you're set and ready to roll. To remove, we're just gonna do the opposite. All right, to bring it down, don't forget to fold in your side mirror just in case you hit it. pound kayak so this here is the mechanism to release the kayak just like that you do have the option to lock it with a one key system all right one thing to mention it does not sit flush but it will work just fine the hull elevator can accommodate up to 36 inches my 85 pound kayak is 38 inches wide but as long as everything's strapped, it's still good to go. Considering the height, so let's say you're going into a garage which you have a limited clearance, it is fairly easy to remove. Just wanna unlock and you will see a pin right over here. We're gonna go ahead and um, see it. push it out. You do have to have some practice. I can't see it. There you go. This pin right here. Push it out. And pull. Just got to wiggle it until it comes out. There's your pin. And lift. And to put it back into place. You're going to see this metal bar here. You're going to want to hook it onto the lip of the bar so i'm going to go ahead and hook it right now once that's rested on the lip you're going to go ahead and take your pin push it and then lock it down you're going to have to align the holes you got one side in Right now that the holes are aligned, when push it down, you hit a click, and you're ready to go. And to give you a better idea of what pin I'm talking about, it's this right here. Lift to release, down to lock. Here we have the Yakima Showdown, which is a sliding lift assist. It has a load capacity of 80 pounds. The weight is a nice 21 pounds. You do need a minimum of three inches extended from your crossbars. They do have these safety pins to prevent it from sliding out. All right, to bring them down, you want to release the safety pins, slide out, and bring it down. Remove the safety pin, slide out, bring it down. So they do come with two different saddles. This is the more flatter saddle, which can accommodate kayaks up to 36 inches. And we have a bigger saddle, which can accommodate up to 28 inches. So the saddle is adjustable with this knob here. It can go up or down depending on the size of your kayak. It can also hold paddle boards. You also have this foldable cradle, which is very handy when it's in a stow position. That's how it looks when it's up, when you want to stow it. 
low profile. All right, next you want to take your Yakima load straps and go ahead and prep it. So you want to feed the load straps through this metal bar right here and just lay it down. When you load the kayak, this is the second metal bar that you want to go through. You don't want to use this. They specifically red tagged it so you don't strap it to this. You must go through here. Next, don't forget to fold in your side mirror. Now you want to make sure the center weight of the kayak is on the center part between the two Yakima lifts. That way, each lift can be evenly supported by you. Right? Once you determine which is your center point, which is mine, I already know it's right over here in between the handles. We're going to go ahead and lift it onto those cradles. I can't too heavy all right as you can see the showdown is about this low whereas the elevator is actually lower I can't lift that high the 85 pound kayak so I'm only 5'2 and I can't lift the kayak high enough so I'm gonna need some assistance so now we're gonna go ahead and attempt to lift the kayak onto the cradle Now we're gonna find the center, which is this way. There we go. Now we have the center point. All right, next you wanna adjust the saddles to make sure that they're touching. This one looks right, and it looks like I'm gonna have to raise this side. All right, there it is strapped. Remember, you don't wanna go strap it through here. You wanna strap it through here. You do have a lot of excess, you're gonna to wanna to tie that off so that it doesn't flap around while you're driving. All right, to lift, you wanna grab these two handles, left hand and right hand. All right, to lift, you're gonna grab the handles, pick it up, and then slide it in. It should give you about 40% assistance. Alright, once you got it in place, you want to take the pin and lock it into place so that it doesn't slide out. Now you want to make sure you do your bow and stern tie downs. The bow to tie it down so you have a little downforce to prevent the wind from lifting your kayak and the stern you have downforce to prevent kinetic energy when you press on your brake the kayak doesn't move forward now i got that secured and you're ready to rock and roll it does sit nice and flush the kayak is 38 inches wide And to remove, you're just gonna reverse the process. Remove the bow and stern. Now you're gonna remove the safety pins, pull out, and bring down slowly. It is hard to bring out. It 
85 pound kayak. Too heavy. So it does come with a key system to lock so it doesn't slide out, prevent some theft. So there you have it. That's my uh, comparison review of the Thule Hull Elevator and the Yakima Showdown. I personally would prefer the Thule Hull Elevator just because it drops lower than the Showdown. I'm only 5'4 and I can lift it that high. If you haven't done so already, please don't forget, subscribe to my channel and I'll bring you more comparison videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.